So the first part of the setup is getting the first flange coupling onto the shaft of the motor. So you see here, there's already a key in the motor, which is going to be helpful for keeping the flange coupling in place. Um, once that's on there, we are going to use a dial indicator to make sure that the surface is as flat as possible. If not, we can make some adjustments with a um, soft end hammer. As you can see, there is some tolerance, but it's nothing too drastic that's going to uh, mess up our system in the end. Uh, next step is going to be aligning the shaft with the coupling setup. As you can see, we are pretty low on this one, so we're going to add some shims. I'm going to start with a 1 8 and see if that is good enough. Um, looking at it now, we see that it's too high when we line it up, so we're going to take these out and we're going to use the smaller shims, uh, which are, I think, a quarter about the size less. So we threw three of those in there and you see we are nice and lined up now so we are going to get the other coupling and take the shaft and throw it into the second pillow block bearing and make sure that everything is all lined up and once it's all lined up we're going to screw it together so now that they are established and put on the shaft we're going to check both sides make sure it's lined up we're gonna use a straight edge and you can see we are pretty much level so we're going to take the screws and mate them in all four of these holes and get the system running so screwing in one of the screws and then there's one here one on the bottom and one on the other side to ensure that it is, stays together um, so now we have the system up and running and now you can see that it is rotating um it is not wobbling the finish on this shaft makes it seem a little unstable but in the shop you could definitely hear that the only sound was coming from the motor itself and we're gonna hit the kill switch put this back up here turn off the switch, make sure it's in neutral, redo the torque, and now that we see it is officially off, we are going to turn off the full power and put the lock back on there and we are set.